Hello my friends, welcome to my 10th tutorial about uh, jostling. Uh, first of all I want to apologize because of a uh, relatively huge time span between my tutorials and that's because I'm currently busy working on my own applications. But uh, let's continue with uh, jostling. In previous tutorial we learned about uh, JButton but we didn't discover true purpose of JButton. And true purpose of J button is to do something when we click on it or when we press some hotkey on our keyboard. And for that we'll have to call add action listener method from a J button class and also to create a event handling class which uh, is a basic class implementing the action listener interface. So let's start from creating new package and I'll name my package uh, com event and here I'm going to create uh, <coughs> sorry here I'm going to create a new class button event also I'll check for name method let's delete these okay uh, also I'll Create uh, JFrame. As a container for our J button. And title will be like button event. Now let's make uh, J button. Let's import J button. And text will be click me. So let's uh, create constructor. Let's add button on our J frame. Button. And now I'm going to call few methods set the default pause operation. Dispose and close. Also, I'll call pack method. And finally, set visible method. And it will be true. Let's call invoke later method from swing utilities. And let's say new runnable. And I'll override run method here and say new button event and that's it. Save it, let's run it and here it is, J frame with uh, J button but when I click on it it doesn't do anything or also when I press space uh, bar on my keyboard it also doesn't do anything. So to make our J button to do something, we'll have to call add action listener method. Add action listener. And action listener, uh, and this method will take uh, object of our event handling class. So let's uh, create our event handling class. Uh, first approach is to create something like private class EVT, which uh, okay, which uh, implements action listener. Okay, I'll import uh, action listener from Java Auth event package. And it will prompt me to override action performed method. And all our code goes inside of this action performed method. And for example, I'll say I'll set the uh, background of my button to red. So I'll say button set background color red. Okay. And here I'm going to say new EVT. 
So I'll create a new instance of my EVT class. Let's run it. And when I click on it, you can see how it uh, changes its background to red. A uh, second approach is to create anonymous class right here in uh, between these parentheses. So I'll say new action listener. And as you can see, it will prompt me to override action perform method. And here it is. So basically, inside of our uh, inside of parentheses of our add action listener method. So let's say again button set background color red. Let's run it. And as you can see, it changes its color to red. So that should be it when it comes to event handling with our J button. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below.